Nayet Villota has been sitting at home with an empty coffin for two months. Her grandmother, who brought her up, died on March 27th of coronavirus in a Guayaquil hospital. And Nayet has been searching for her missing body ever since. It's very hard. I ask myself, Mami, where are you? I wish I had her ashes in my house to know that she's here and that the family can all be together again. I need this to be over. She's not alone in her despair. The Alai Alai family holds signs asking, where is my father, my husband? Where are our human rights? Adalberto Alai Alai died on March 29th in hospital, and the search for his body has been nothing short of horrifying. Nobody at the hospital gave us an answer. They just said he wasn't there. So I went to the container where the corpses were to search for him, one by one. The only thing I found was the ticket with his name on it. But to this day, I still haven't found him. The pandemic caught Ecuador's tropical Guayas province and its capital, Guayaquil, totally unprepared. Bodies were left on the street. Others were piled up in containers at the morgue. And now, after two months, many of them have decomposed because of inadequate refrigeration, making their identification more difficult. But many relatives aren't giving up. At least 100 families have joined together, on this day protesting outside of Guayaquil's prosecutor's office. They're demanding that authorities produce results and punish those responsible. The protocols weren't respected here. They did as they pleased. They even charged people for the right to go look through the bodies. Every day, more people are in this situation. Jose Raza's daughter is one of them. This was the death certificate they gave us, and this one was to get my father out to bury him with this code. The codes never existed, just little pieces of paper on the bodies full of blood. There's no doubt that the pandemic overwhelmed health services here. But two months on, the best thing that mourners like Marjorie can hope for is that the system that failed them will right the wrong that's been done and eventually reunite them with their loved ones' remains. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera.